on the midnight of 1st October 1960. The Nigerian flag was raised. It means Nigeria has gotten independence from Britain. Finally, Nigerians are free. The people danced, sang, and enjoyed the best they could. But unfortunately, it was only yet over. In handing over the documents to the federal prime minister, Al Haji Zababaka Tafawa Belewa, Her Royal Highness handed over sovereignty to a new nation. Although Nigeria got independence in 1960, it was only in 1963 that Nigerians took Pasha control of their country. Because between 1st October 1960 and 1st October 1963, the Queen of England, Queen Elizabeth II, was still the head of state in Nigeria. Despite that Ajita Fabedao was the Prime Minister, White Nanazikwe was the Kawajera, but they were still taking orders from the Queen. Then, of 1st October 1963, Nigeria formally became a republic. It means they can now govern themselves. Nanazikwe became the President of Nigeria. White Afabedao remained the Prime Minister. But so dimly in January 1966, a military coup was conducted in Nigeria, organized by Chikuma Kadna Zogo and the other young army officers. This coup happens to be the first in Nigeria and the heaviest in record, as it saw the death of many gay Nigerians. The Prime Minister, Al Hajita Fabewa, the Tibi of Atta region, Sir Ahmad Bello, Chief Samuel Akintola, and 19 others, including senior army officers and politicians. Then the military took over, and Major General Agui Wasi, the shame the head of state, but by to his in 1966, very six months in power, Iwasi was assassinated while on a visit to Ibadan. He was killed alongside Lieutenant Colonel Fasis Adekule Fadri, the then military governor of West Arija, who insisted that Iwasi should not be killed under his watch. The soldiers who came for this exercise then decided to take both of them, as he would not allow them to take away his chest. Their body was later found along the world in Ibadan. After Iwasi's death, Janaya Kamugo won, who was the most senior military officer from Northern Nigeria, took over as head of state. Few months into his administration as head of state, the Nigeria Biafra War broke out, which tested from July 1957 to 15 September 1970. I call on those who claim to love Nigeria and the evils to faith realities and advise the people of the East Central State to lay down their arms and return to the fold. After the war, General Kambugo I was still the head of state, on t 28 July 1975, when General Motam Mohamed overtook his administration and became the head of state, with General Uzik Nobasanjo as his second day command. Motam Mohamed's administration was short-lived, as he was killed on 13th February 1976, just after six months and 15 days as head of state. His death was masterminded by a group led by Lieutenant Colonel Bukasu Kadinka. They shot him while in traffic in his vehicle, near the Dampalax or Balande, Ikoi Lagos. After his death, Oushebi Nobasajo took over. He was the head of state from 1976 to 1979. True enough, it is an independent, interdependent world. But we in Nigeria today are over dependent on other economies for non vital and non essential goods, which does not help our development. To the his administration, he promised to conduct elevation for civilians to rule the country. By August 11, 1979, a general evasion was conducted and Alain Shushagari became the president of Nigeria with Dr. Alice Ikweme as the vice president. I show Usman Ali Ushagari do solemnly swear, well, do solemnly swear that I would be faithful, but that I would be full and bear to show allegiance and bear true allegiance to the Federal Republic of Nigeria, to the Federal Republic of Nigeria. After the first four years as president and vice president, on 6th August 1983, other general evasion was conducted, and the result was a victory for the incumbent, Alajiso Shagari. He just won his second tenure as president, but second tenure who did have stayed for four months, because on this first December 1983, Jada Momo de Brari overthrew their government through AQ. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Listen down. Aye. This is wrong. Jana Bari became the head of state of Nigeria for only about one year and eight months, when in August 1985, Jana Ibrahim Bangida, who was part of the team that helped to Bari become the head of state in 1983, conducted a military coup and overthrew the Ibrahim administration, thereby becoming the head of state. Babangida was in power from 27th August 1985 to 26th August 1983, a total of eight years. He resigned from his position as head of state in 1993 after 1993 general evasion. Through which he commits to hand over to civilian rule. 
But instead of handing over to Chief Mushud, Kashimau, Olade Khan, Abiola, Poplaidunas, MK Abiola, the presumed winner of that election, Jela Bandida decided to annul the election. The people of this country went to polls on Saturday, June 12, 1993. And without net or hindrance, trust me as their president. I won in 20 states, and I won the, the, the one third of the vote in 28 out of 30 states and at the federal capital territory of, of Abuja. This annulled presidential election has two major candidates. Alhaji Bashir Tofa of the National Republican Convention, NPC, and Chief M. K. Huabiola of the Social Democratic Party, SDP. The election is adjudged to be the freest and fairest in the history of Nigeria, but was annulled by Bavangida on the basis that if he had allowed M. K. Huabiola to be president, there would be a military coup that would put his life and not of Abiola on the line. He said that some top military officers were already planning to attack if Abiola emerges. As a result of that announcement and loving the election, a public protest was packed throughout the country, and it forced Bobanida to step aside and handed power over to Chief Enes Shonokon as the interim president of Nigeria on August 27, 1993. Enes Shonokon's administration only lasted for less than three months before Jaina Sani Abacha took over as the head of state in November 1993. Abacha was head of state from 1993 to 1998, where he lost his life. The chief of defense staff, Mayor General Abusani Abaka, took over as head of state. General Abusami Abaka promised to hand over power to a civilian government. After a general election, the election was between two major candidates. Former head of state, Chief Oshigunopa Pasanjo, who contested on the platform of People's Democratic Party, BDP, and Chief Samuel Ulufale, who ran on the platform of a joint alliance between the parties, Alias for Democracy, and All People's Party. But Oshigunopa Pasanjo retired of the PDP having complied with requirements of the law and stored the majority of booths is hereby declared the winner and is returned elected. <laughs> By May 2, 1983, Chief Oshib Nobasanjo and Aja Chukabaka were inaugurated as the president and vice president of Nigeria. Why? Obasanjo was the president for eight years, between 1989 and 2007, which he includes two tenors of four years each. By 2007, he handed over power to Madame Musailadwa, who had won the 2007 gender election. But by May 50, 2010, after just three years in office, Umar Musailadwa was declared dead following months of illness. Dr. Goodlord Jonathan, who was the vice president, took over and competed the tenor. Why he also ran and won the 2011 Jeda election, giving him a fresh tenor that lasted from May 29, 2011 to May 29, 2015. By 2015, through a wave of coalition and alliances that gave birth to a new political party, the All Progressive Congress (APC), Muhammad Buhari won the presidential election, defeating the incumbent president, Wuto Jilatan, and others. This marked the return of Jada Buhari, who was the military head of state between 1983 and 1985. He did serve as a place date from 2008 May 2015 to 2008 May 2023. On